Hello, Mac Ninja here. So last time we talked about uh, Lagrange's theorem, but I want to apply some of the coolest things about Lagrange's theorem. We must, we should learn about isomorphisms. So an isomorphism is both a homomorphism and a bijection. So why do we want to talk about isomorphisms? So many times in life we say something looks just like something. For example, we have a fish. Fish swims one way and it swims just the same way as the other fish, even though the fishes look different. So we have many times we do that in mathematics. For example, we have homeomorphisms between two different, uh, uh, let's say, objects, a homeomorphism between two different objects. Or we can look at linear orderings, a morphism between two linear orderings. Or in algebra, we have morphisms to algebra. But in order to do any of this homeomorphism, st homeomorphism stuff, we got to first cover something called uh, bijection. So that will be topic for today. By the way, one of my kids, a poor, he had, today I give him first multivariable test today at the 3 o'clock, 24 hour test. Everyone, really, wish him luck. He will eat it. Okay, so what is a bijection? And this is what I usually do with, with the kids and I, when I teach them this. I talk about what we do in Vietnam. So most people with bijection, they, they do a little graph, they draw a line. I'm going to do that too, but how I think about it is I think about it as animals in cages. So, okay, in Vietnam, we have a game. In Asia, we have a game, okay? In the game, we have a bunch of animals, right? We have a cat, a squirrel. A cat, a squirrel, a cat. We have a cat. We have a cat. We have a waffle. Okay, we have animals, okay? We have a bunch of different animals. And at the end of the day, we have them run around for all day. I'll make a for example. Uh, uh, triangle. Triangle. So we have a bunch of animals, right? And we have to run around. And then at the end of the day, I have to put them in cages so they can go to sleep. So for animals, we need four cages. So the, we have two rules in the game. These are cages. We need two rules. First rule is we need each animal get its own cage. reason why is because if two animals same cage they eat each other and the second thing we need we need all cages to be filled so we need each of these cages that I have I don't want to waste so I have to have each case filled up so for example end of the day I put the squirrel I put Get squirrel in the second cage, cat in the first cage, waffle in the third cage, or, and triangle in the fourth cage. Or I can do, let's say, move this way. Cat in the third cage, triangle in the fourth cage. So this is an example of bijection between four objects into four objects. Each cage is filled. So for example, if I had a fifth cage, and if the cage goes on the film, then not a bijection. If I have two animals, they go to the same cage. We make two cages, they go to three. Let's say the cell is small. Then it then it fits, not a bijection. So the importance of this is I can say, okay, I have a cage. What animal is mapped to this cage? Ooh, cat is mapped. I know it uniquely which animal is back to which one. So if I had a fifth cage here, then there's nothing being mapped here. And this is nice because this allows us to do something called inverses. The first property, each animal gets its own cage, is called injection, one-to-one, -one, which is also known as one-to-one. -one. Second property, all cages need to be filled, is called surjection, which is called, also known as onto. So let's make this more mathematical. 
So this is the game we play in Asia. Very fun game. So more mathematics. Okay. Let's think about the bigger picture. Okay. I have a universe of all these animals, right? Each of these dots is an animal. There's John, there's Paul, all animals, okay? I have other universes. Oh, cages, right? There's a left cage, red cage, blue cage, green cage, ham cage, Dr. Seuss cage, okay? And then I can take these and I map it uniquely to each one. Remember, each animal gets its own cage. All the cages have to be filled. By the way, this will work if you have much more animals. I know we talked about it but if you have much, much more animals, we have more animals here than here, th 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 then we're screwed. I'm sorry. Because there's not enough cages. So just pretend that the same number. All a bijection is is a measurement of size. We have to have the same number of animals here as the number of cages. That's why we need injection. Because we don't want to have too many animals here in these, in these cages. If there was like five times as many animals here, we don't want five animals in each cage. Same thing. If we you want all these cages to be filled, because then we can say this side is the same thing as this side. <laughs> because it would, I mean, same thing as this side would combine both properties. So for example, this guy can go all the way on the east coast or north coast. If this was Taiwan, this would be this place, Shaoxi. I want to go there to teach math. Anyways, so next question is. How do we make this concept mathematical? By the way, this concept of size. We like things to be the same size. That's, one, that's the thing about bijection. You can read more about this on campus. Okay. So, okay. First thing about this, we want to talk about trajectory. Everything here has to have a case. And we call this universe, okay, a math ninja. So we call this M, math, universe, N. An example of M could be the real numbers. These can be all real numbers. It can be all tomatoes in a farm. It could be anything, all pandas in Asia. There's lots of them. Okay, one. Projection. So, projection is to fulfill these two properties. First one, projection. Or actually, I should write it. Definition. A bijection is a function from the two universes. By the way, they can be the same universe. Such that so we're going to call a function, we're going to call a function such that two things happen. One, for any x in n, uh, we can find a y in m such that f of y equals x. They call this projection or on two. So, okay. What does this mean? Okay, give me any cage in M. This cage. Oh, whoops. Okay, this is supposed to be more mine. There we go. Okay. So, I take this dot here. For anything in this world, this is the object. We have to show that there is some object here, such as this guy is being mapped in here. We have to show that the cage is being filled by some animal. That's surjection. Next part. Okay. Okay, I write it here. 